there boys and girls, how are we doing? Welcome to uh, another vlog. Um, today's Sunday, obviously. And I'm having a walk around something known as Hesel Feast. I know I've featured Hesel Feast a couple of times um, on this channel. But uh, yeah, it's about gone three o'clock in the afternoon recording this and it's still in full swing. I think it's on till about six o'clock this evening. Um, as you can see behind me there, there's an inflatable in the little park area. So, yeah, so I'm just going to have a little walk around and I might do a little bit of vlogging while I'm out. Um, but yeah, a big ass inflatable. And no, I'm not going to go on it. Because though in my look, I'll do myself for mischief and I'll be the laughing stock of the whole village area. So. Won't be the first time either. So yeah, I'm just going to have a little walk around, see what there is. But it looks like they've got all sorts of different rides in there. Um, but I'm not going to record the park because obviously there's little kids present. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful when little kids are about these days. People, somebody like myself looks weird most of the time walking around with a camera and um, some might think I'm doing something that isn't necessarily just but you know that's the world we live in people are paranoid over little things but um but yes it is a, a lovely day for it today it is actually quite warm at the moment but yeah, just gonna go for a little walk around, see what there is. There's all sorts, loads of stalls, people selling stuff, tombolas. Um, and as I might be able to just give you a little look, see from a distance. But like I said, this little park here, known as Tower Hill Park, um, here in Hesel, and uh, basically it is there's uh, just a little little park with a swing and everything like that in there but um, there's like a playing field as well for people who want to play football or something like that and then uh, but yeah they've got loads of inflatables and all sorts of stuff happening so let me just see if I can use around and zoom if I can you twat you twatting thing right. nope can't see a damn thing. Well that certainly worked out well didn't it? Um, the whole area of Hesel, the little town square, it's uh, completely closed off to traffic. So, uh, it's like literally right around. No roads, no traffic, nothing allowed in or out. Except for emergency vehicles and things. So I haven't actually been in the Hesel Square area yet. Um, I've literally just gone down what's known as the Weir which is at just the top of my street. So I've just been around there, for the, and there's quite a lot there actually, but like I say, I'll, I'll probably do a little bit of recording, um, kind of do a little bit of b shotting, if you know what I mean by that, kind of show you exactly what's been going on in between me talking. But, um, it's looking like they've got quite a bit going on this year.
Alrighty, so yeah, just you would have seen a little bit of B roll or whatever to some music, probably sliced in there. Um, just to give you a little sample of what Hazel Feast is like, even though you've, you've seen it documented on here before. There seems to be quite a lot here this year, things going on, um, live performances. There's like a sound stage just around the other side of the, of the church. Um, there's always one there and it's more like the local rock bands kind of gather um, and do like little performances. There's uh, another sound stage in Hessel Square which you would have just seen probably. Um, with, uh, it looks like more of a community stage, like school kids and stuff participating in that. But yeah, not too bad. It's a fun little experience, a lot of stalls, people selling food and um, knickknacks and things like that, you know, things people have made, you know, like crafts and things like that, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's basically Hazel Feast, it's just a celebration of the local thing. I'm guessing the birth of Hazel Feast probably comes from farming market, a farm market or something like that, probably, you know, where, because where we are in Hazel, it was literally just farmland years and years and years ago. Um, the only buildings that was actually here in Hesel back in those days was the church and uh, the, the square itself. A lot of the buildings in Hesel Square date back to at least Victorian, maybe a bit older. So you're looking about maybe about 1800s, maybe maybe older than that really but Hesel is an ancient little town um, it was discovered by the Vikings so it dates back long before Victorian era and everything it's ancient our church um, when apparently when the Vikings came here the church was still was already here Hesel church um, and when the Vikings found or discovered Hesel, or where, where, whereabouts we are, um, they called it Hayes. H-A-Z-E, -E, Hayes. And there's a pub in Hesel that's actually called the Hayes, which is actually because that's what Hesel used to be called, according to the Vikings. Um, and apparently there has been... Uh, actual being remains of pigs and animals from years and years ago that have been unearthed um, around where it's all built, built, built upon areas um, so they've actually found actual wildlife, actual animals um, that would have once been farm animals literally just so there is possible remains all over the place around here in the built up areas so yeah, a little bit of trivia for you. I, I am a big fan of my history. I do love my history. I love my ancient history. Um, I love anything to do with the Vikings, Anglo-Saxons, Roman, Greek, Egyptian, all that kind of jazz. It's really fascinating to me. And to think that we were discovered and the first village settlers, really, were Vikings that travelled here from on their adventures you know pretty cool but it is a glorious glorious day people it really is um, but yeah quite a lot there pretty cool but uh, I just wanted to say as well in this vlog a little update on socks um, I originally wasn't going to make a second vlog this week, I was going to probably leave it, but because Hessel Feast was on this weekend, or today, uh, I thought why not, I'll do a, an extra vlog while I can. Um, yeah, Socks, she got booked into, into the vets, and uh, she had a, luckily it's nothing bad that was wrong with her she only has uh, an abscess apparently yeah an abscess on her back end on her on her left leg I think it is and uh, 
she has been in some discomfort for a little bit and it seems it was this little abscess that has appeared on her maybe due to a fight with another cat so I'm glad uh, I'm glad there's been no problems or nothing more more uh, wrong with her um, we were getting a little bit worried that she's really been hurt either been hit by a car or been kicked by somebody something like that but to think that it's possibly just been an involvement with another cat because there is a lot of local cats around me and there's a cat that always seems to want to come into our garden that is from the next door um, so I think it's more plausible that it is that the abscess was caused by a fight with another cat so yeah so I'm happy I'm happy that it's nothing serious um, she was given um, some antibiotics injection um, and uh, the abscess was taken care of kind of like the pop I think she popped it and she kind of um, squeezed out a lot of the crap inside um, she's got to go again in on Monday for another vet appointment for another dose of antibiotics um, so hopefully fingers crossed she'll be fine um, it's obviously antibiotics so combat any sort of infection that has probably been caused by the abscess or any infection that's maybe gotten into her system um, she's been very quiet since going to the vet store she's been very uh, she's been hiding a lot so I don't know whether whether it's because of the abscess whether she's maybe with it being treated she's maybe in a little bit of pain or she's just wasn't a big fan of the experience because she did not like being in that carry case <laughs> the cat carrier or whatever she did not like being in that whatsoever um, so she's probably just been maybe a bit frightened and she's she'll, she'll come around eventually but end of the day it needed sorting it needed looking at but in the long run it was worth it and you know you need to put them in these situations, unfortunately, you know, which is the best thing for them. You know, that's the thing, that's the best thing. So, I'm going to finish this vlog now. It's not going to be a very long one, but it's just to document Hesel Feast a little bit. I don't want to go around recording too much around Hesel Feast because there was a lot of young kids about and there's police about. Um, and if they see some lonely guy with a camera pointing in the direction of anyone that's maybe a minor, I could end up getting into trouble for that. So, so yeah, even though public recording isn't necessarily illegal, but it, when kids are around, it could be a questionable thing. So, but anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you very soon. Stay awesome. Bye-bye.